Hey guys, welcome to our channel, before starting the video if you have not subscribed our channel till now then please subscribe it, and if you have not watched our previous videos then watch it, as per the last video, we have integrated Jcash related code to enable second level cash in Spring Boot. But the real question is, is that really required to add additional caches like Jcash? EH cache or any other cache. In this video, we will remove Jcash related code like dependency from Palm XML file and whatever code we added for a configuration file that also we will remove. We will add code provided by Spring Cache like in the last video we already added Spring Boot Starter Cache dependency, so we will see, with the help of that how can we implement cache functionality. Before starting anything let's run and see everything is working fine or not. See it's working fine because of Jcash database call for the list is not calling multiple times. In this video, we will remove Jcash's related code like dependency and Jcash config code. Let's first remove cache customized method in this class. Let's remove cache API dependency from Palm XML file. Let's rename the jcache config to cache config. Let's create a new method called cache manager that will return spring cache, the cache manager. Annotate this method as a bean. Like that you can create as many as caches with any name. Let's rerun and see it's working fine or not. See it's working, let's check other caching features whatever we added in the last video are working or not.
See other features are working fine. I should make this video before, but if I made this video before then this realization never came. But I think you got the idea a little better way. Let's review whatever we added to this video. Let's commit the code so you can use directly. It's committed successfully let's see the code is available in GitHub repository or not. Enjoy. I hope you like this video then please subscribe our channel.